Godzilla. Uh, this is one of my one of my favorite sculpin patterns or streamer patterns. Uh, really, it's really been effective. Uh, not too tough to tie. It's actually a variation of the original Sculptzilla. The original one is an articulated fly, um, which requires quite a bit more work to tie it. This is just a, a single fly or a single hook fly, and it's it's quite a bit easier. So this is the one that I'll tie up today. Um, we're using a size, tying this on a size 6 uh, flat eye streamer hook and the cone that we're using, we're using a spirit eye, spirit river cross eyed cone um, and if you can see there's places where we're actually going to glue in some um, some eyes at the end but I'll show you that part when we get done. So we'll go ahead and tie down our thread and tying this one in uh, as a natural color, a white color. You can also, I also tie this one in olive, which seems to work pretty well too. So we've tied our thread down. We're going to begin by tying in our zonker strip. And to do that, I'm going to come to the end of the zonker strip and I'm going to separate the fibers. And usually, if you lick your fingers and kind of pat that down, it'll keep them split for you. And then tie down, make enough wraps because you don't want this to spin on you, and then pull, pull the zonker strip back a little bit, and now we're going to tie in what we'll use to make the body, we want this body to have some slash, so what I'm tying in is white crystal chenille, tie down good and tight, and then just go ahead and bring your thread up to behind the cone. Start by wrapping our chenille. We want to get as far up underneath the cone as we can as we can go. Now we're going to pull our rabbit strip over, and again we want to split those fibers. So wet your fingers, and we want to try. This is kind of tough to do, but we want to try to tie it so that fibers go up underneath the cone. So a few wraps. on it. Trim that off. And tie it down. And then we can kind of pull on the back and that'll make sure that it's down good and tight. You want to make really make sure that it is secured down so that it doesn't so it doesn't shift on you. Okay, now that we've got our rabbit strip tied down, we're going to, for the collar, we're going to begin by tying in a piece of red hackle. And this is going to add a little life to this fly because the red should represent the color of the gill. And just a couple wraps. Never use hackle pliers. A couple wraps and then put your thread under there. Make sure we get it tied down. And the more you can wrap that underneath the cone, the better you're going to be. Better off you're going to be. Now, to finish the collar, we're going to tie in a piece of grizzly hackle. And same thing. We want to push it under the cone. We want to make sure that your first few wraps catch the hackle. And now when you wrap it, we just want to make sure that we're going to wrap in front of the red. Kind of pull it back and then wrap as you go. Usually three or four wraps and Now we're gonna act, we're gonna add 
in a whip finish at this point. I'm not done with the fly, but I want to add in a whip finish. And usually I will throw a little head cement under there too to make sure that that doesn't come undone. But to save a little time, I'm not going to do that. Now, the last thing that we're going to do on this fly, because our cone is kind of bouncing around up there, we're going to take another spool of red thread. Tie that down the front of the eye, or in front of the cone. And we're just going to gently pull that back. that should do is get to that point and it'll keep the keep the cone from sliding forward and it'll also keep the uh, keep the collar pushed back. And the last thing we're going to do is add on our eyes. And I'm using 3D eyes for this. Usually what you do is Take a little drop of glue, put it down in, a little drop of glue, put it down in the socket, and take your eye, lay it down in there, give it some time to dry. Same thing on the other side. If you don't add glue, I these the eyes tend to fall off pretty easy. And there we go. That's uh, our finished pattern. That's a one hook or single hook scope zilla.